The key to saving elephants from extinction may be in their tusks and dung. Researchers analyzed DNA samples from more than 100 tons of African ivory seized over two decades. We did genetic work to uh, determine the origin of the ivory in the samples, in, in the shipments, and then we were able to connect ivory tusks between shipments um, from the same elephant as well as from close relatives. By matching the genetic data with elephant excrements collected across Africa, scientists were first able to pinpoint where they were hunted. Several poaching hotspots have been identified, including regions of Tanzania, Kenya, Botswana, Gabon and Republic of Congo. And three key trafficking hubs, Kampala, Uganda, Mombasa in Kenya and Lome, Togo. Coupled with evidence such as phone records and shipping documents, the findings suggested only a handful of highly connected criminal groups were behind the illegal trade. Because once the ivory leaves their hands and gets out of Africa, it becomes so difficult to trace. But if they've been operating for years and this whole network of poaching and middlemen, poachers and middlemen below them are all feeding their tusks up to the same guy, if you take him out, then there's nobody to buy the tusks from the poachers. Africa's elephant population has been shrinking rapidly, from around 5 million a century ago to only about 410,000 currently. The two species of African elephants, savanna and forest, are both listed as endangered, one critically.